Logan County is a small county in the middle of Illinois, halfway between Chicago and St. Louis. We have about 30,000 residents, 14, 15,000 of them live in the county seat, and the rest of us are scattered across the county in small towns like Mount Pulaski. Whitney Hill was constructed adjacent to the Hilltopper project from last year, so we were lucky enough to have already established relationships with the local landowners, the local community, and some of the local officials as well. Like many rural communities, Mount Pulaski has faced that drain on its local economy that occurred when larger communities bring in big box stores, so that means the town loses its grocery store or the town faces the loss of its hardware store or its pharmacy. What's fantastic though is the fact that now with the wind farm project coming to town and with Enel's cooperation, this community is really actively turning itself around. From my position as economic development director for Logan County, I look upon Mount Pulaski as a poster child for what a community can do if it works together and involves everyone in the town. Right now, they're just beginning on phase one of a phase three project to completely revitalize their downtown. They're restoring buildings, they're bringing a community market, a co-op to town to replace the grocery store they lost. They're building a brand new high school, and I could go on, but it all springs from a base of Enel has been very supportive and worked with this community, and they've banded together. So it's been just a great win-win situation for both. Considering that we are visitors here, this is their home, this is their community, their neighborhoods, we're guests here. And I think Anel does a great job of putting their best foot forward to, to foster that caring culture. Most importantly, they understand rural culture. And for a wind farm project to be successful, you have to get along with and understand how things work in a rural culture. And that's why it's worked for Anel.